So uh, I'm going to read a very short excerpt um, early on in my memoir um, at the narrow waist of the world that was published in the fall. So um, the memoir um, is a coming of age story about mothers and daughters, a little bit about mental illness, about living with difference. Um, and this little piece is called Patricia. Anita, who was seven like me, lived next door and she had thick black hair that her mother brushed every morning 50 times before weaving into two lustrous braids to the middle of Anita's back. My sister Patricia couldn't resist and I watched secretly thrilled standing at the far side of the small garage when Anita, ojos como pepas, felt the clunky scissors slicing across her tresses. It ended with Anita in tears and one dead braid on the ground. Patricia remained in the garage for hours, crouched behind the bumper of an old Chrysler. I ran indoors and crawled under the bed. Llegó el aguacero, the male maids called out. There were several voices calling echoes from the houses along the street. Llegó el aguacero was shorthand for run outside and pull the clothes from the line before they get soaked. When I heard the lilting cries, I knew to get out of my clothes, down to my panties, and go outside to play. I was saved that day, but Patricia was not. Tia Mimi, one of Papi's sisters, was living with us then instead of Mami, and she was worried about the trouble. Patricia had to visit Anita's mother that night with Papi. I had to hold my guilt inside, and that was worse. Patricia cut the sleeves off her dresses, or the neckline, or hen. She made capes and skirts for her dolls. When she was wielding the scissors and working the needle and thread, nothing else existed. I played with dolls in the customary way, making up stories, while Patricia fashioned wardrobes for her little models. When we played Las Mil y Una Noches, A Thousand and One Nights, with Arab princess and princesses, Patricia and a girl who lived at the end of the tall grasses in our neighborhood would take the roles of prince or princess with veils draped across their faces while dutifully I played the maid. But Patricia was a sad one. She had a slight curve at the top of her spine and the doctors worried that it was scoliosis. They ordered a vest with bars made of thin animal bone wrapped in fabric, an exoskeleton. Patricia had to wear this vest inside of her clothes, but she never did. I was busy figuring things out. If mommy is sick, she can't help it. Being smart like that gives you fortitude. Thank you for listening.